I am Blue Moon Oracle, also known as Deborah, um, and I am a healer, uh, an energy healer, and I'm also what I like to call a shadow witch. So, um, a little bit about my background is, and what got me into this is, um, I have complex PTSD. Um, it comes from, uh, repetitive abuse in which a person cannot escape. So, um, someone who's been kidnapped, um, someone who's been held prisoner of war for a long time, um, uh, or someone like, uh, who is a child and who has been trapped by their parents and suffered a lot of abuse, um, ongoing. So my abuse began, uh, unfortunately in infancy and I've suffered all kinds of abuse, uh, growing up, um, in my family and, uh, you know, I'll talk freely about it, but I don't need to get into it right now. Um, <clears throat> um, because of that, I have been on a journey of recovery for as long as I can remember. Honestly, uh, I got sober 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago, 10 years in May. I'm an alcoholic. I'm in recovery. I've been in therapy um, with the same, I've been in therapy off and on for 20 something years. Um, and in fact, the first therapist I saw told me that there was like literally no hope for me that I would go from a uh, shitty relationship to shitty relationship, suicide attempt after suicide attempt and psych ward to psych ward. And um, you know, I'm glad that I didn't follow through with what I wanted to do after that session. Um, and, uh, yeah, so there are people who should not be in the profession of helping people. Anyway, thankful I'm not with her anymore. I've been with a great therapist, um, for going on 11 years and, um, I see a psychiatrist, I take medication, um, and, you know, I've had incremental progress over the years. I've gotten better. Each relationship that I've been in has been, uh, less fucked up than the one before. I've gotten less fucked up over the years, um, you know, and uh, not for anything. I just wasn't uh, satisfied with like being in one, I don't know, in, in one shitty relationship that's after another that was just less shitty than the one before. I, you know, it's just so many like things happened that, that led me to this place. Anyway, I ended up ordering a tarot deck and I got introduced to shadow work and I met one of my shadow selves. I've got a couple of them. You probably do too. And uh, yeah, it's been a journey of um, facing cognitive dissonance and breaking through um, self-deception breaking patterns of behavior that I had been stuck in for I don't know how many fucking years, man. It's been liberating. It's been painful. It's been freeing. It's been fun. It's been scary. Um, I, I, I've had the most progress than I've ever had. Um, I wish I had found out about this a decade ago, um, but I didn't. And, you know, but I found out about it now. And this is why I feel compelled to share it with the world. Um, I am somebody who feels very strongly that um, all modalities of healing, and in fact, I will share it later, but I have a message from um, angels. I don't know why I laugh when I say that, but it really was angels. It came in my dream about the importance of, you know, using all modalities of healing and how if you are seeing a healer and she says you don't need to see a therapist or she says you or he does not need to see a psychiatrist, um, you know, uh, uh, fucking drop them because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And that's dangerous. Um, we have real world problems and we are spiritual beings uh, having a human experience in a human body. And um, yeah, and uh, yeah, a lot of healers aren't trauma informed. And I'm grateful for the therapist that I have because she is uh, supportive of Eastern modalities of healing. She is supportive of the esoteric. Um, and so combined together, it has been a phenomenal experience for me. And so that's what's led me here and finding my life's purpose. <laughs>